Today, I'm going to take you through what it looks like to release a rattlesnake with me. So, first, we've hiked the rattlesnake a little ways into a good outdoor natural habitat that's ideally within a mile or two of where we caught it so it can go back to its natural habitat but not be too close to the homes here. So, when I take out the bucket, I take off the lid. Obviously, I want to be careful and make sure he's not going to strike at the lid. And sometimes it's easiest just to dump the bucket out to let the snake go like this. So I did a little slow-mo because this guy was ready to go. He was just just shooting out the gates here. Usually they're quite ready to go back, but a lot of times they'll be scared. They'll be coiled up in the bottom of the bucket. They're not always so ready to go like this one was. So a lot of times, as soon as they get out of the bucket, just like this, you kind of see with his tail, they'll be unsure of what to do next or where they are. So sometimes I got to do what I call giving them a little tickle on the tail. And that kind of just, they're, they're usually very sensitive in the tail. So it kind of gives them a little jolt. They go back into safety there. And then once I can make sure that the head is far enough away from the camera, I can reach in, get the camera back and show him kind of going to explore his new little home in safety.